Hey everybody, end of October, uh, cold morning. I'm gonna go for a short day hike out at Afton State Park, which is only about 10 miles away from my house. And today I will have a special guest along with us. All right, let's go. Woo! Ready to go? Ready to go? Go ahead. Franklin, sit. Good boy. Franklin, wait. Hey, sit. Wait. Franklin, come. Okay, for some reason, the battery on my camera died, so I'm gonna have to try to salvage this video using my phone. So I apologize, there won't be as technically as good as my other videos, but it's still beautiful out here and we'll see what happens. All right, I came across a crew down here doing a little trail maintenance. I haven't seen that in this park before, but I'm glad it happens. I uh, just came to a turn here, the Olmstead Meadow. So I usually go up this big trail, uh, this big hill up to the Olmstead Meadow and cut across up towards the campground. One thing that's confusing when you hike through here is uh, it's this homestead meadow up this way. Remember that's to a campsite and not the trail. So you actually want to go the opposite direction uh, and head to the left. As you can see, we are here. We want to go up around here. Okay, we've come up to the meadow, a T in the path. See from the map here, we came in here. And we want 
gonna go up around. Uh, I think we're going right up through here. So we're gonna go up through the prairie loop right here. Beautiful day, a little bit of snow, but not icy, about 30, 35 degrees. Coming to our turn in the trail here, coming off the meadow. You can see over here there's a nice little cabin and a vaulted toilet. Comes in handy if you're out here and uh, you gotta go. Okay, we're coming up on one of my favorite parts of the trail in the park here. See, there's just a stand of pine trees in here. It's just beautiful in here. It's even better with all the snow on the branches. Every time I come through here, I think I should have brought my hammock. Just lay out here. Relax, take a little nap. Frank, you down with the nap? Or would you rather bark at those people that you hear? So I've come to an intersection in the trail right beyond those pine trees. And it's kind of a four-way intersection here. But if you head down this way where these people are coming from, uh, is the campground and I'm actually going to be going back the opposite way. So back here in the back of the park there's what looks like it used to be an old farmstead. See the windmill laying on the ground there. Some sort of antique farming equipment there as well as they built a little I mean, this obviously wasn't part of the farm but they built a little cabin up here to rest in and all these benches or all these cabins have a bench in them you can stop and have some water and eat you can see there's a little bit of the old uh, rock and landscaping from the farm entrance here so I came to the overlook uh, which is probably one of the spots that I take pictures of my dog and I a lot when we're out here on Facebook But it's just beautiful today when you can see the fall colors uh, Along with some snow that white snow really Makes you appreciate those browns and oranges a little bit better Franklin What do you think of those fall colors in the sights? Do you like them? Aren't they beautiful? What do you think? Yeah? You're such a good boy. So if you keep hiking uh, underneath that overlook, there's a little path that goes down past it that isn't on the state park map. But uh, I that's one of my favorite trails out here because it's not as uh, developed as the rest of the trails. It's more of a single track. You have some trees that you have to go around and a little bit more rustic hiking. So um, try that out. Just kind of a hidden area and you come across a little bit more rustic private areas than the rest of the park. So if you keep on going on that trail underneath the overpass, it comes down 
to a bridge for the path. But if you go under the bridge here, you can get out to the river. So Franklin, there's the river. What do you think of the river? Should we go see the river, Franklin? Okay, let's go. Let's go see it. Let's go see it. Is it cold? Yeah. Nice part about being around here this time of the river, or this time of the season, no boats. What do you think of that, Frank? You like that water? You know, you don't have to stay by me. You're not on the leash anymore. Franklin seems to be so well behaved, why don't you take him on more of your hikes? The truth is, Frank uh, likes to bark. And when you're out hiking on the Superior Hiking Trail and you don't see anybody for an hour or two, and you come along someone on the trail, uh, he barks and he's kind of aggressive. So, uh, I, I don't like that. So, I, you know, I'd have to keep him on this leash that I have that's tied around my waist, but um, when you come along somebody, you kind of want to chit chat with them and not have your dog barking at them. Plus, uh, you know, I switched over to a hammock this past summer and I haven't had a chance to try him out uh, sleeping underneath my hammock yet. So, uh, and an additional reason is he's got kind of, he's only two years old, but he's kind of got a bum hip where I'm not sure it would be a good idea to bring him on a long hike. So after you come up from the river there, you join the main trail that goes along the river. It's a beautiful river. Like I said, in the summer, there's usually boats uh, flying by on there. And uh, this is just a long, flat trail. Not as very exciting as far as walking, but uh, you see a lot of people coming in here. Uh, there's a swimming beach up here uh, that they go to. Oh, such a cute dog. Okay, Franklin, come. Oh, here he comes. Such a good boy. Who's the good boy? Let's go. Come on. So up that way is the beach and the swimming area. I don't think there's gonna be any hotties in their bikinis out there today. And you see some real people that camped out last night in the snow and the cold. I'm impressed. So after you come from the swimming area, there's another intersection here where there's a path going up to the campground the one coming from the beach. See there's a nice little pavilion down here for parties. Then there's the main trail that goes back up towards the parking lot. However there's another trail here that uh, you can go down that's a little less traveled and uh, a little bit more scenic. And now my least favorite part of the trail. The stairs to leave. Obviously I'd hate going upstairs, but that also means that we're done. What do you think, Franklin? Was it fun? You know what time it is, Franklin. It's time to put the Doors music on. 
because we're at the end of the this hike. The so we're back up at the top of the trail near the parking lot. Great hike. Uh, you know, you can learn things just on these short hikes. The biggest thing I learned today was bring an extra battery for my camera, even on a short hike. I don't know if it's cold weather or what, but Franklin and I always have a good hike up here. And uh, some people may think it's cold, but I thought it was pretty nice out. No safety, no safety.